So I guess he was disappointed by that, and he really wanted lasers and. Oh, wow. Excellent. Well, you, look, you tell me when you're ready. Now that should be next to no noise. Well, that sounds good. I've got, yeah, I've got nothing. Well, next to nothing. You let me know when you're ready, because I'm, I'm starting, yeah? It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> we're all swinging now, by the way. Yeah, we're nearly ready. You let me know when you're ready, because I'm not... You're making my lights flash. Yep. Tutti. Hi, hello everyone. Hello. hello. My name is Mr. Underwood. Um, I make these little synthesizers as a bit of a hobby, really, um, and run workshops for people to come and build them in an afternoon. Um, and I've been brought along loosely because they are optical pheromones. I don't really like that term. I tend to refer to these as noise boxes. They're <laughs> extremely unplayable, I would say. I mean, if anyone wants to take one away and learn it for 20 years, maybe you'll get something decent out of it. But I, I tend to like to use them for their strength, which is as a noise box and for compositions such as this. Uh, this composition is a classic piece by Steve Reich um, called Pendulum Music and when he wrote it, it was written for four microphones and four amplified speakers. Um, technically it was any number, but he suggested four. Um, and four performers. And I'm going to require four people to come up and help me with the performance, well, be the performers. Um, Cool. And all you need cool. to do is take a torch and swing it. Um, you need to swing it when I say go, so we're going to work out a counting system for that. And it's what's called a process piece, uh, because the rules are set up in advance, and then um, chaos, if you like, ensues. So whatever will be, will be. So the, And it's also what's called a phase piece, so the... the Various lights will go out of phase with each other over time, um, changing the rhythms and syncopations and so on. So, uh, this is my version of Steve Rice Pendulum music for torch and optical theremin. Um, as you've heard, they're all switched on. It will get very loud at times, and um, I've, I've, I must admit, no offence to Gordon, but I've never played it through such a small sound system before. But... <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting a clean recording. Anyway. <laughs> but I dare say it will still be very loud at times, and I, I will take no offence whatsoever if people put their fingers in their ears. That's absolutely fine. Um, it's... Uh, the reason, I mean, the frequencies get clash a lot, obviously, throughout the piece, so it's not a comfortable piece to listen to, necessarily. At the end of the piece, um, I will require somebody to come up and switch them off again, so maybe just the four performers when I say it's time to come back up, by which point these will pretty much just be doing that sort of movement anyway, so you won't be getting in the way, and all you need to do is flip the one switch that's currently up, down again, and then it will end the piece, okay? So can you say that bit again? Did you get it? Down. Down. There, well, there's only one switch up at the moment, and they need to go down at the end, okay? Uh, so, could I have four performers, please? Lydia's already put her hand up. Yes, come on. Gordon and daughter. Wow, yeah, go on. Okay. Oh, and if possible, afterwards I'd like to write your names down so I can document who performed it this time. Well, I could do that now and then you can okay. copy my notes. Now I need... Is that cool? You're going to have to stand up. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I need you on that side, if you would. Sorry. And I need... Laura. Laura. I need you on that side. Well. On this side. Yes, I'm going to put some notes. And the other thing, um, no, no, you, you both on this side, and then on that side, yeah. Um, occasionally, 
uh, and I don't know how you define when this piece has gone wrong as such, but occasionally it goes wrong with maybe the torch hitting the stand or them hitting each other, which then causes a shift change, if you like, in, in the piece and the flow of the piece. But uh, don't worry about that, that's, that's just fine. We, do, you leave that, do you leave that in? Yes. <laughs> we, we let stuff like he that would have done, yeah, happen. Yeah, he, he would, yeah. <laughs> Okay. So you see when this so starts, everybody, and then the, the, oh, before I take another drink yeah. of beer, and so everybody, everyone else starts, you let me know so I can make sure I get the beginning, that would be brilliant. Might as well start recording now. Yeah. I'm ready, it's going. Yeah. Okay, cool. If you hold the torches, I'll show you, if you come right back, what you need to do is you need to hold it about that high, and so that the, the rope is relatively taut, don't pull on it too much, but just so it's relatively taut, okay? Um, Everybody at a similar height. Your Gordon's quite a lot higher than anyone else at the moment. I think, I think we'll go. Have it, man. Go back a little yeah. bit. If you Kevin. lift up a little bit more, that's it. Yeah. Okay, I think we're all right. So, I'll just grab my beer. And then, turn this up. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a count of four. Let me one, two, three, four, drop. Okay. The amount of people that drop it when I tell them the demonstration of how to do it. But anyway, here we go. So uh, it'll be one more iteration just to tell you how it goes. One, two, three, four, drop. Okay. So here we go. This is for real. One, and then one on the other. you must you must be careful getting out of the way of them because this one's going to swing over here. Stand still for a minute. Okay. So yeah, oh, yeah, that, that would do it. Okay. Everybody ready? One, two, three, four, drop. Wow, 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 wow,